22nd is a Saturday. Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Sakamoto Properties, where prestige is our business, reputation our foundation. This program is brought to you exclusively and solely by Sakamoto Properties, and we approve of its message. As we're coming up to an election, <laughs> that just seems it's the appropriate thing. Today, here, Mitch Mitchell is here in the studio with some great ideas for us. We also have Roy Sakamoto in the studio, but for whatever reason today, he has no earphones, no microphone. He's going to be, we'll see, a quiet observer. He could hop into the mix at any time, so let's be all careful, Mitch, what we're saying. Aloha, Mitch, and welcome. Aloha, Betty. Uh, thanks for having me on the show again. I feel a little under pressure having Roy watching me, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. We're okay. okay with that. I can handle this. You know, we were trying to figure out a minute ago, the Halimakua Luau is coming up. Yes, Saturday the 22nd. Of? This month. The 22nd. Let's see, Saturday the 22nd. Okay. Uh, keep that in mind. Where is it going to be? You got some details for everyone that's thinking of going? Oh, uh, it's on the Holly McCool website, as well as ours, I believe, but uh, it's down at the uh, Marriott in Wailea, at the ballroom, and we have Eric Gilliam is our, our featured entertaining entertainer this year. And you know, we're also um, honoring um, Maui Soda and the family the Nobrega family for all they've done for the community over the many, many years. And, you know, it's not just for Holly Makua, but for every charitable event. Uh, the Nobrega family has been there and supported our community and uh, to a great extent. So well, that, that by itself is a great reason to be there because it's true. If you've been to any charitable event, almost any, you'll see the Nobrega family or Maui, it's Maui Soda, Maui, Maui Soda, soda Coca-Cola, Coca Coca et cetera. So they've done a lot for the community, and surely they deserve to have an award like this. So it will be really great to acknowledge them at this event, and it will be really fun to be involved in it. So come on out, and uh, we'd really love you know, to see you there. It'll be a fabulous event. Uh, again, take a look at halimakua.org and you'll figure out exactly what you need to do. If that doesn't work for you, call us at, or check sakamotoproperties.com, and we'll try to get something up on Halimakua and the event coming up, or call us at 669-0070 and ask for the Halimakua tickets, and we'll figure out for you how you end up with them so that you won't be out in the cold and have it suddenly sold out. So today, Mitch, we're on a real estate mission. As usual, we wanted to come up with some information. I've got a little bit of advice for people on loans. We're going to try to do our quick picks again. And anything else that comes to mind, uh, we should toss it around a little bit, whether it's a, a specific listing or what's going on in the mortgage world, etc. You got any thoughts on mortgages today, or have you chatted with anyone? Well, I think I'm getting that. <laughs> Actually, kind of an interesting thing that I found today was if you're interested in following what's going on in mortgages, a great way to do it if you're trying to track interest rates and figure out what's happening, go to yahoo.com and click on finance. Or I think you can also do yahoofinance.com. And if you check out the 10-year bond yield, that's going to be a great indicator for you of exactly what's going on. And if you track it day by day, you're going to have a pretty good idea if interest rates are going to be going up, going to be going down, etc. Even better, one of the things that we keep saying, uh, rather than just tracking it online yourself, is hook up with a mortgage broker somewhere, go into your bank, Bank of Hawaii, First Hawaiian Bank, sit down with someone, let them know that you are interested in buying real estate within the next year, figure out what's going on with interest rates. I know right now that there's money, um, you know, large loans, jumbo type loans, that are going to be available with seven to 10 year uh, fixed, seven to 10 year payoffs. And I think that could be really interesting because it's under 3% right now. 
So whatever you're looking at, the interest rates are so low that this is the time to be buying. So call us, 669-0070. That's 808-669-0070. Look at our website, SakamotoProperties.com. And uh, in case you've missed anything on the radio show, you can find it on our website. So take a look at that also. You know, Betty, one of the things that uh, I've had several calls lately and people stopping in the office, hearing of some of the deals that have been closing around and going, oh, wow, I could have done that. And then I go and try and find them another one and they're gone. So, it, you know, some of those deals are, have already been, been snapped up. You know, you, we can't tell where the bottom is until we can't find it anymore. So. Well, great, you know. great statement there. I think that there's no way that any of us are ever going to know the bottom until it's on the way back up. And I'd read an article the other day, which I think is really interesting, that if you were going to look around the country and make a decision to buy somewhere, and you're kind of searching for the bottom, you know, the thing that you've got to look at is you really want to go to a place where theoretically all the good deals are gone because now you know that the market is ready to heat up again and you're buying at a great time, you probably are at the bottom. If you go into somewhere that it's like, it's ridiculous, it's a huge market of these down deals, foreclosure, short sales, etc., that's probably not when you want to buy because that could be going on for the next two to three years. So I think you want to be in there as you see a market changing and I think that's where we're at in Maui right now, don't you Mitch? I do, uh, because I've been looking for some of these great deals for people now that have decided to finally try and get in, and uh, pretty difficult to find. It is. I mean, there is absolutely no question. In a variety of categories, really difficult to find. I think I mentioned this last week, or two weeks ago, the idea that we have someone that is looking to buy a house somewhere between, let's say, 900000 and a million three. And they have a vision exactly what they want, exactly how they want to live. And it's really hard to find that property in Kanapali. You're definitely not going to find it at Kapalua. We've looked around for things in Napili, anywhere on the west side. We actually have pretty much covered up country, and those are the two possibilities. But in particular, they'd like to be on the west side. And we're looking at just about every property that we can, and it's difficult right now to come up with something in that general price range. And a million dollars is still, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Sure is. One of the good things uh, that's been happening lately, Betty, you know, as, as you know, we've closed two of the golf villas. Um, and the golf villas are in the middle of the, the Kapalua golf villas, they're in the middle of the remediation. And the buildings are turning out, you know, spectacular. They're really beautiful. It's a, becoming a really great property again as it uh, was in the past. And there's some really good buys in there right now because they're getting, uh, I think, probably a third of the, the buildings have been redone or are in the process of being done now. And uh, I think there's really still some good buys left and some room for appreciation there. I think you're right. I think there's fabulous buys that are there right now. The remediation is really bringing it back to its glory days. So that I think you're going to be at Kapalua again. The glory days are coming back. The Golf Villas, which has been the lowest end product, but some of the best views in the resort. And it kind of sits into the hillside. It's not windy. You know, there's some amazing properties there. Some of the ones that are priced the lowest are the ones that are going to need a little bit of work happening to them but way worth doing it. And I think right now you do have some people who it, it's cost a lot, the remediation, it kind of did a big raise in the association fees to fund everything that's needed. But again, the owners that are looking to sell, I think have a goal in mind to get moving on with their lives or possibly to buy a replacement property, either on the mainland or pick up another property here. We're finding interesting exchange possibilities where people are looking to sell maybe even a house but end up with a condominium. You know, so they're trading down and we're seeing the opposite happening. Now, getting those two together is not a simple task. But that's one of our things happening right now, Mitch. Wouldn't you say people that are ready to trade up, trade down, 
want to keep a piece of Kapalua, let's say, or Kanapali. So I think we're hopefully going to be able to put some of those deals together. Yes, there's a couple that I'm involved with right now that uh, want to downsize because they have, they're finding they have to spend more time other places in the world with the grandchildren or whatever, and, but they still don't want to give up their, their dream of, of Maui and the, the Hawaiian lifestyle or their touch with paradise. So there's a lot of interesting, they are difficult to put together, but that's why you need a professional. True. I mean, check in with the, your real estate broker for any of these ideas. If you've been tossing around, if I could sell this, I could buy that. <clears throat> and sometimes that means it's going to be Hawaii. Sometimes it means you're going to buy another property in Chicago, California, wherever it is that you're from. But it really can make sense today to do an exchange and to move into a totally different property. So whether you're trying to sell outright and then find the property, we can set you up with an exchange company and have you ready to do this kind of a transaction. Mitch, any kind of quick picks? You know, besides the golf villas, we have quite a few of the bay villas listed for sale. And remember, these are going to be pretty much some of the last built directly on the ocean. It's really a spectacular, magical spot. Um, we have um, several bay villas of varying sizes and prices. Some need a little tender loving care and some are really fixed up beautifully. And uh, so the bay villas, you know, when you're sitting out there on the bluff overlooking the beautiful blue and the sunsets and, uh, you know, the surf, boy, there was, you know, the north swells will be coming in again here soon. So. It's really a very magical place to be. So I think the the Bay Villas are something that people should should be considering also. That's at Kapalua. Actually, that's the first development at Kapalua. The first development was the Bay Villas, which again, fabulous oceanfront property, three swimming pools, between two really fabulous beaches, and then on the far side of the one beach is where you're going to go through Kapalua Place where we have a listing at, I think it's $22 million. So again, you're in the high rent district when you're looking at these properties at the Bay Villas. You know, so you're, you're really in the midst of some fabulous happenings. And then you go on down to the Ironwoods, where the lowest listing is $2,550,000 and up from there. So again, at Kapalua right now, there's some great value when you take a look at previous sales, et cetera. Another spot is Napili Point. You know, we've always been pushing Napili Point. It has a real special place in our heart. Uh, it's kind of old Hawaii. Um, my friend and I were talking about that uh, last night, how, you know, a lot of us when we came here 30 years ago, this was Hawaii, even Napili Point, and Hanakiana Cove, and a lot of those places. And, and uh, Napili Point is still right there. There's, we have several listed there. Um, I just had one that I sold about six, seven months ago. The owners, the new owners came over for their first week that they were able to spend here and they brought all their family and now other people in the family are thinking, oh, what a great deal this is and, you know, so it was nice to see another family starting out again on their family tradition of coming to Hawaii and enjoying everything that Hawaii has to offer. You know that that bay there, Hanakiana Cove, has got more turtles, and they're huge. It's a great spot to, to snorkel and swim in, and it's just right outside their front door there. You, you know, one end of the market that I feel sometimes we don't give enough um, information on, and I think it's critical to our community, it's the somewhat, let's say, first-time home buyer, the local resident trying to even you know, move up from an existing property. And it might again be someone that owns a condominium but has been dreaming of getting into a home, you know, or a larger condominium, et cetera. And that end of the market, I do think that you are still finding some great values. The other day I happened to look at Wailuku Homes, and that's not an area that I claim to be that knowledgeable in, but the more I look at it, I was totally amazed by the properties that are available in Wailuku 
and I think it would be a great place to live. I mean, our hearts are on the west side, but again, I think that for a lot of people, you can find a home, a great piece of land, and you're close to everything. You're close to the airport if you're traveling in and out. So I think first or second home, there's some great Wailuku properties in fabulous areas, and I think that that is a great place on the market. Same is true in Lahaina. There's some great new developments that are down in the, right in Lahaina, near Barnes and Noble and Foodland Farms, etc. You know, there's newer condominium developments that have some amazing deals, low down payments, great financing. So anybody that's looking to get into the market today, either as a first time home buyer or as a local resident, and those are the people that more than anything need to talk to their lender. Go to the bank, talk to someone at the bank. You know, call us for the name of a mortgage broker if you aren't able to figure it out with the local banks. You know, but check in with us and probably before you go to the bank, call us, 669-0070. Call your, your local real estate broker, someone you've already worked with. Call Sakamoto Properties. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll help you get to the right direction, you know, with a lender or if it's an area that uh, we're not as familiar as we'd like to be, we know other um, licensed realtors that uh, we know that would do a great job for you. So don't forget to call Sakamoto Properties and uh, we'll help you get started. 669-0070, that's 808-669-0070. And again, take a look at our website, uh, sakamotoproperties.com, put together for us by Myra Computer who have done their best to get us updated all the time. And I think I've said before, we've been a little kicking and screaming because we tend to be constantly busy. And it is hard for everybody right now that's trying to keep a website up. But they've done a great job for us to keep us updated and give us new ideas and try to push us into the current century. So we're plugging away at it. So take a look. If you can't find something on it, let us know and we'll go after those Meyer computer people and help them figure it out for us. But they've been extremely helpful and have taken real good care of us, so we've been pretty happy with how that all works. Meyer Computing keeps beating me up, Betty, because I'm supposed to go there for a meeting to learn how to actually work with some of the stuff that they've started for me. And, I know. You know, I'm an old dog. It's hard to learn new tricks. It is hard to learn the tricks for all of us, but we're, we're all learning and uh, we'll continue to be on the learning curve, so let's just all keep doing our best. You know, another thing that in a way is really going to be upon us pretty quickly is Christmas and the holiday season is basically 90 days away. Oh now, my gosh. Think about that for a minute, and that's a little bit frightening as far as I'm concerned. That's but, very frightening. I'm not going to think about it. So, well, Betty, I'm tell, me, about tell it. me about your Lahaina Shores. Well, I'm for a minute going to stick with <laughs> the fact that we are coming up to the holiday season, and I think for all of us, it's time to start to prepare. There's a lot of different things that we all want to accomplish. I think it is time, and Mitch just recently was up for a very large award for what he's done for local charities for Halimakua, and unfortunately, he was not the final winner. That was George Martin, who's done a lot for Cardin Academy. But there were 12 nominees, and each one of them individually, including Mitch, deserved to be the winner. But when you have 12 such amazing people that have done so much for the community, and it is set up, it was the Rotary, and they were set up, obviously there was going to be one winner. And uh, we're all so proud of Mitch and proud that he was nominated and uh, I'll always have to congratulate him for all he's done for Halimakua and for the community. So thank you for that, Mitch. Well, thank you, Betty. But you have to remember that there are hundreds and hundreds of other people out there that don't get the recognition. And I want to give them the recognition now um, for helping give back to our community. There's so many. In fact, everybody that gives even a dollar to me for raising funds, you know, they're the heroes. They're the ones that are actually doing something for the community you know I'm just a collector but I want to thank everybody out there that that does something whether whether it's in in financial aid or it's time that you spend with an elder or or teaching 
children and after school. I mean, I think Maui is an amazing place. There's just a lot of people that, you know, care about community, care about people, and uh, I'm happy to be one of the many. What you just said, Mitch, is really part of what I'd like to say as we come up to the holiday time. You know, if you're going to do something for elders or for children, I mean, this is the time to kind of get your plan in place. You can check in with Hale Makua, talk to somebody, see if there's something that you could plan over the holiday. You know, maybe there's a kids singing group that would go over, you know, and do something, or you might be able to just spend a day going over and reading to someone. Those things need to be planned ahead of time. You don't just drop in. So check it out. Call Hale Makua or check in halimakua.org. And then Mitch wanted me to tell you something about Lahaina Shores. Lahaina Shores also great property and amazing. We have an amazing studio listed for sale, oceanfront, uh, available to see the majority of the time. They've been keeping it open for right now so that it will be available to look at. So again, call us 669-0070 and one of us will get you in to see Lahaina Shores at any time. Fabulous rental program. You know that Lahaina Shores is, is a great little property. I stayed there actually when I was on a visit here before I moved here. And it's like a, a block from the center of all the action in Lahaina Town. And, uh, you know, Lahaina Town is a real special place, you know, and uh, I think having a place downtown, in fact, I think Roy's sister and brother in law have a place there for when they want to come back right in. Lahaina Shores. It's a great, great property. It really is. Super property, nice rental program. They're getting everyone to upgrade the units substantially to stay in the rental program, which is always a good thing. You know, so that you'll take a look at some units that are upgraded, some that aren't. But we can get you through that if it needs to be upgraded to be in the rental program and that's what you choose to do. We can help you figure that out to the best of your abilities, you know, so that you can have something that you're really proud of you know, for yourselves to come, or family and friends, or for rentals. So again, that's just another thought. But again, get right now, get, get to your lender, especially the local residents, you know, get to your lender, do that through your real estate broker, and uh, let's find out if we can get you to buy a property where we're still in the middle of what I consider to be totally a buyer's market. And again, when it's changed, it will change so quickly that none of us will believe it. So we think we're all so smart, but we aren't. You know, Mitch, we are winding down pretty quick. We've probably got just a little over a minute left. Any other quick thoughts you've got in mind? or? Um, at Sakamoto Properties, we have a lot of agents that have uh, experience in many different areas. And uh, just uh, give us a call at Sakamoto Properties, and uh, we'll find the, the glove that fits. Perfect. Again, mortgages, I think it's an interesting time for anybody. I think that you're going to get a better interest rate, better payment than you ever could have dreamed a few years back. So if the idea is that you need financing, let us help you. But we need to get you, number one, in to talk to your lender. It's vital because you may be totally surprised that there is something that you really want and love out there for you to buy. We're now probably getting 30 seconds. So we're through and aloha for today. We've got Danny Couch coming back on with I Love Hawaii. And for the record, I love Hawaii. Sakamoto Properties, number one exclusive Maui real estate. Aloha. Aloha.